I'll just go to heaven. I'll go to heaven and then see. I heard a lot about heaven, about Swarga, Indra. So then, okay, go. So he went. So he went, uh, was about to enter the Indra's heavenly kingdom. Then the doorkeeper stopped him and hey, you cannot go inside. Then he thought, when he saw there are many apsaras, they are just going, nobody is stopping them. So then Aruna thought, let me become Aruni. So he became she, Aruni. Aruni, just imagine, the driver, chariot driver of, uh, of, of, of uh, sun god. When he becomes she, how I felt went, how beautiful that person must be, isn't it? So nobody stopped her. Actually, he became her and went. And I was so happy to see Indra's palace, so majestic and wonderful. And Indra Sava was there, and a lot of very beautiful dancers were there, demigods were there, there was song going on, music going on. Now all of a sudden Indra saw, hey, there's one special apsara today. He became so agitated, he just went and dragged her into a private room. And then he wanted to impregnate her. So then Aruni told, no, no, I am Aruna. I then least bothered about it and he just impregnated. So Aruni came out with an impregnation and gave birth. So that is how the son of Aruna, Aruni became who? From Indra, Sugriva. That is how Sugriva was born. Then uh, somehow uh, just he went. By the time everything was resolved by Brahma and uh, he was about to start the chariot, then uh, Surya asked, yeah, Aruna, what happened there? And he told the entire story. It's a very horror story. The entire, what was it from I want to see? No, no, no. I don't want to show. I'm, I messed up my life. I'm your boss, you should, you should, you should show that form, beautiful form of yours. So immediately Aruna became Aruni on the order of Sun God. The sun God. So I was so agitated, he was the other in Who was born? Wali was born. <laughs> so in this way, Wali was born to sorry, Indra, and Sugriva was born to. Surya. So, so Sukri and Wali, this is how they were born. And there, the Puranas say that how, why this story is mentioned. Anybody who listens to this story, the Farashuti is that as soon as they hear about the word heaven, demigods, they spit at it. They, they develop disgust for going to heaven. <laughs> you are going to lose with such people. <laughs> then you are going to lose with such people. Like sometimes people become very upset seeing some opulent house in a bungalow. And so when you go there uh, to meet such people, they have a party at night. You know, all hi fi people, so called hi fi people. And they are just so lusty people. You just cannot tolerate being even just a few seconds at that place. But they have a beautiful bungalow with so much of interiors and nice you know, servants, cordial, nice, luxurious cars, all these things. But uh, they are so lusty, the drunkards. And you just cannot even spend a few minutes with them. Mm -hmm. So-called high society. Yeah. The, the, the talks they do, or oh, just last nothing else. You develop disgust for such things. Mm -hmm. So Indra is in that condition now. He is always thinking of mm -hmm. means what? Dharma prajita kaita bhutra paramo. Nirmatsaranam Sadam.
ధర్మ ప్రోజిత కైతపుత్ర గురు నిర్మత్సరాణం ఇట్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో మెన్ ఫార్ సంసారిణాం వేర్ సుధ గోస్వామి గ్లోరిఫైంగ్ సుఖదేవ్ గోస్వామి డూ మంగళాచరణ సుఖదేవ్ గోస్వామి వాట్ ఇస్ ఇస్ ఏ వాట్ ఇస్ ఇస్ ఏ ఎం ప్రవజంత మన వేదం వేద కృత్యం దీపాయన విరహ కాదరాజోపుత్రేజనేతాతరోపినిస్తుంచరోదృదమానతోస్మి యస్వానుభావము అఖిల శృతి సారమేకం అధ్యాత్మదీపవతి తేషితాం ప్రమోందం సంసారిణాం కరుణయా పురాణ గుహ్యం సంసారిణాం ఫార్ సంసారీస్ సుఖదే గోస్వామి స్పోక్ దిస్ భాగవతం విచ్ ఇస్ పురాణ గుహ్యం so that thing which is meant for only nirmatsaras became available for sansaris by the mercy of sukadev goswami got it okay this very well known for the next verse yat prayagya vade sakshat bhagavan hari ishwara అనుభూయత సర్వాత్మ సర్వలేక గురు ప్రభో సో ఇన్ దట్ సాక్రిఫైస్ హూ వాజ్ దేర్ యజ్ఞపతి సాక్షాత్ భగవాన్ వాజ్ పర్సన్ ప్రెసెంట్ దేర్ ఇన్ దట్ సాక్రిఫైస్ సుప్రీం పర్సనాలిటీ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ విష్ణు ఇస్ ప్రెసెంట్ ఇన్ ఎవ్రీబడి సాట్ అ సూపర్ సోల్ అండ్ హీ ఈస్ ద ప్రోపరేట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ద ప్లానెట్స్ అండ్ ఎంజాయ్ ద రాల్ సాట్ హీ వాజ్ పర్సన్ ప్రెసెంట్ దేర్ అట్ సాక్రిఫైస్ so that lord who is sarvatmana who is there in everybody's heart and sarvaloka guru who is the guru of the whole universe and who is the supreme lord that is bhagavan hari ishwara ha yajnapati sakshat yajnapati means one who is the lord of yajna was personally present uh, now how is it that indra prithu uh, maharaj's yajna was far superior to indra how was prithu far superior to indra when indra would perform yajna the lord would have not personally present there but when prithu was performing yajna the lord was personally present there mm-hmm. so that was the glory and the glory of prithu maharaj's sacrifice is described in the further uh, six verses అడిగి పర్పోర్ట్ ఇన్ దిస్ వర్స్ సాక్షాత్ ఇస్ సిగ్నిఫికెంట్ పృథ్వీ మహారాజ్ వాజ్ ఎ సత్యావేష్ అవతార్ ఇన్కార్నేషన్ ఆఫ్ లార్డ్ విష్ణు యాక్చువల్లీ పృథ్వీ వాజ్ ఎ లివింగ్ ఎంటిటీ బట్ హీ అక్వైర్డ్ స్పెసిఫిక్ పవర్స్ ఫ్రమ్ లార్డ్ విష్ణు లార్డ్ విష్ణు హౌవర్ ఇస్ డైరెక్ట్లీ ద సుప్రీమ్ కృష్ణాలిటీ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ హెడ్ అండ్ దస్ బిలాంగ్స్ టు ద కేటగిరీ ఆఫ్ విష్ణు తత్వ మహారాజ్ పృథ్వీ బిలాంగ్ టు ద జీవ తత్వం the vishnu tattva indicates god the jiva tattva indicates the part and parcel of god when god's part and parcel is especially involved it is called satyavesh avatar lord vishnu is here described as hari ishwara lord is so kind that he takes all miserable conditions away from his devotees consequently he is called hari he is called as ishwara because he can do whatever he likes is the supreme controller the supreme ishwara purushottama is lord krishna he exhibits his powers as ishwara or the supreme controller when he assures his devotee in bhagavad gita 8.66 abandon all varieties of nature and just surrender unto him i shall deliver you from all sinful reaction do not fear we can immediately make his devotee immune from all the reactions caused by sinful life if devotee simply surrenders unto him he is described here in as sarvatma meaning that he is present in everyone's heart as the super soul and as such he is the supreme teacher of everyone if you are fortunate enough to take lessons given by lord krishna and bhagavad gita our lives immediately become successful no one can give better instructions to the society of lord krishna okay next అన్విభ్రహ్మోకపాళై సహనుగై ఉభగీయమానో గంధర్వేశాప్సరో 
So along with the Lord, uh, was a combined by whom not only just uh, the Lord came, he also was a combined of Brahma, uh, along with Brahma, Sarva Bhyam, Sarva Bhyam, Shavaha, means who is he? Lord Shiva, and Lokapalaihi, and all the other different devas were along with him, and uh, Saha Anugaihi, along with their followers, Lokapalai, the Vigars came along with their followers, Sanugaihi, Upagiyamana, and uh, those followers and all the demigods were praised by whom? Gandharva Munibihi Apsara Ganaihi. Uh, when he approached, when he appeared in the scene, the residents of Gandharva Loka, the great sages and residents of Apsara, all, all praised him. Means all are present there, all the demigods are present in that sacrifice mentor Prithu. Next, not only these people who are all there, Siddha Vidya Dara Daitya Dana Vahya Gadaya Sunanda Nanda Brahmoka Parsada Pravahare. Along with them, Lord was accompanied by those who are the Siddha Loka, Vidyadar Loka, and all the descendants of Diti and the demons and yakshas. He was also accompanied by his chief associate headed by Sunanda and Nanda. Nanda and Sunanda were also present. Associates were also present. Not only them, who are there? Kapilo Narado Yatto Yogesha Sanaka Daya Tammani Bhagavata Yecha Tatseva Motsuka Hmm. Great devotees of the Lord, that same Sukha, uh, they were always eager to, always engage in service of the Lord, as well as a great sage named Kapila, Narada, Dattatraya, and masters of mystic powers, headed by Sharak Kumara, all attended the great sacrifice with Lord Vishnu. All of them attended. Next. Yatra dharma doha rubi sarva kama vega sati tobi sambish vidama kami yagya yajamana sambharata. Oh, Bharata, Vidura, listen, at that sacrifice, uh, at that sacrifice, the entire land came to be like the milk producing kama demi. Earth became Kamadhenu, the pure earth yielding all desirable things. What are the desirable things? Necessities, thus performing again all daily necessities for life were supplied. Kamadhenu, read the purport. In this verse, the word Dharma Dugda is significant, for it indicates Kamadhenu. Kamadhenu is also known as Surbi. Surbi cow is inhabit the spiritual world and as stated in Brahma Samhita, Lord Krishna is engaged in tending these cows, Surabhi Rabhipalayantam. One can milk a Surabhi cow as often as one likes and the cow will deliver as much milk as one requires. Milk, of course, is necessary for the production of so many milk products, especially clarified butter, which is required for the performance of great sacrifices. Unless we are prepared to perform the prescribed sacrifices, our supply of the necessities of life will be changed. Bhagavad Gita confirms that Lord Brahma created human society along with Yagna, the performance of sacrifice. Yagna means Lord, Vishnu, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and sacrifice means working for the satisfaction of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In this age, however, it is very difficult to find qualified Brahmanas who can perform sacrifices as prescribed in the Vedas. Therefore, it is recommended in Srimad Bhagavatam, Yajna Sankirtana Praya, that by performing Sankirtan Yajna and by satisfying the Yajna Purus, Lord Chaitanya, one can derive all the results derived by great sacrifices in the past. King Prithu and others derived all the necessities, necessities of life 
from the earthly planet by performing great sacrifices. Now the Sankirtan movement has already been started by the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. People should take advantage of this great sacrifice and join in the society's activities. Then there will be no scarcity. If Sankirtan Yagna is performed, there will be no difficulty, not even industrial enterprises. Not e even in industrial enterprises. Therefore, the system should be introduced in all spheres of life, social, political, industrial, commercial, etc. Then everything will run very peacefully and smoothly. Very powerful statement. Well, somebody opens an industry, then you have Sankirtan. <laughs> <laughs> somebody who opens a business has Sankirtan. If somebody wants a political party, <laughs> uh, social, political, industrial, commercial, uh, commercial, social, you want to have some, some social party, have Sankirtan. No Yajna. Hmm? So we yeah, are Narasimha Yajna. Somebody is asking me, after the entire Yajna, what is the result? I am Sankirtan. So, this yajna is a thing which actually sarva, uh, sarva kama duga sati. Uh, sati. Sati. What is the meaning of sati here? Kau. Sarva kama duga. All the desires are fulfilled by satisfying both visva, avipsitam, arthan, yajamanasya, bharata. Next. Uhu sarvarasanadhyaha, shiradhyanagorasan, parao bhurivasmanaha. So, the situation during Maharaj Prutu was so wonderful that when the rivers were flowing, uh, rivers were flowing, what was being supplied? Sweet, pungent, sour, etc. All tastes were there. The big trees, they supplied fruits and honey in abundance. When people would go, honey would drop from the trees like this. The cows having eaten sufficient green grass, that profuse quantity of milk. Um, Shira means milk. That means, Dadi means curd. Gorasan means ghee. Clarified butter means ghee. And all other required necessities. Very unfortunate. People are so rich, but they don't get ghee. In my childhood, I still remember that uh, in scriptures it is this karna, milk used to flow. Uh, the flow, I saw <laughs> in our house, in our village. Just like milk is lying there, curd is there, those who come for work, cleaning and all, they would just take one big, big vessel of curd. Because it was just abundant, in abundance. Cha, so it was so abundant. 150 cows we had in our farm. Now, big, big temples are not able to maintain <laughs> because taking one is enough. I, I just wondered how, how my grandfather would manage his cows. Yes, they are happy, no problem. Every time the bulls, the cows are playing around in, in our courtyard. So much milk. Goodness. In the entire village, anybody want any milk, how much amount of milk they will come and take? They never sell milk. But let's see. Very bad situation. On the name of economic development, it's actually everything is on loan now. 
who is building? <laughs> who is building? To construct the building per square feet, 2,500 rupees. Okay, land cost, you may take 1,500 rupees. Okay, 4,000 rupees. But these buildings are sold at what cost? 10,000 rupees square feet. 15,000 rupees square feet, isn't it? Uh, so now, you may say the value is 15,000 rupees square feet. But ultimately, that cost is only 4,000. Suppose something happens. Uh, some big bomb comes and some infrastructure gone. What is the value? Gone, isn't it? So we are living in a height. Sorry, in a big height. Ground reality of opulence is land and cows. Read the purport. If rivers are not polluted and are allowed to flow in their own way, or sometimes allowed to flow the land, allowed to flood the land, the land will become very fertile and able to produce all kinds of vegetables, trees, and plants. The word rasa means taste. Actually, all rasas are tastes within the earth. And as soon as seeds are sown in the ground, various trees sprout up to satisfy our different tastes. You know how, how it was? We just you used to some, eat some fruits. For example, paya papaya, we eat it. And I spit the seeds, the throw seeds. Within just one week, you'll find plants growing. Yes. So when a flood comes in the river, for example, there's uh, there's flood flood in uh, Krishna River. All the villages become so happy uh, because when the flood comes, the fertile soil is carried by the river and it spreads throughout. And that year we would get two rice crops. Whenever the floods is there in the Krishna River, what do we get in Krishna River? In Godavari Belt. When the Godavari rises in the flood, because it is connected by the canal, the canal connects both the rivers. The, the engineers who did it in the, in the age old time. So, all the fertile, uh, land, fertility of the entire Madhya Pradesh uh, connecting to the Dandakaran area. The fertility of the Dandakaran area would come all the way to coastal Andhra. And such fragrance, water, water was fragrant. The, I, I was in the fields, I know that. The water was so fragrant. And, uh, and the crops would grow, especially sugar cane, sugar cane. Oh, how it would be, wonderful. But because the chemicals and that and this whole taste has gone. Read for For instance, sugarcane provides its juice to satisfy our taste for sweetness. And oranges provide their juices to satisfy our taste for a mixture of the sugar and the sweet. Similarly, there are pineapples and other fruits. At the same time, there are chilies to satisfy our taste for pungency. Although the earth's ground is the same, different tastes arise due to different kinds of seeds. As Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita 7.10, I am the who see the fall of existence. Therefore, all arrangements are there. And as stated in Ishwabhan said, Purnamidhi, complete arrangements for the production of all the necessities of life are made by the Supreme Personality of God. People should therefore learn how to satisfy the Yadda Purusha, Lord Vishnu. Indeed, the living entity's prime business is to satisfy the Lord because the living entity is part and parcel of the living entity. Being so, all the entities must suffer. That is the law of nature. The words Karavo Bhuri Varshamana indicate very luxuriantly grown, big body trees. The purpose of these trees was to produce many varieties of fruit. In other words, the forest also has its purpose in supplying fruits and flowers. Unfortunately, in Kaliuga, due to the absence of yoga, there are many big trees in the forest, but they do not supply sufficient fruits and honey. As everything is dependent on the performance of Yajna. 
the best way to perform yagya in this age is to spread the sankirtan all over the world next sindhavo ratna nikharan girayo na chaturvidham upayanam upajakku sarve loka sapalaka so so many gifts were offered from people in general when we tomorrow perform the sacrifice there the the citizens did not thought did not see what king is going to give us what the government is going to give us the the citizens were so opulent that they wanted to give gifts to the king mm -hmm. and uh, not only the general populace but also the deities of all planets the oceans and seas were full of valuables and pearls and the hills were full of chemicals and fertilizers four kinds of edibles were produced before you four kinds of edibles you know, what are the four kinds of edibles chewed sucked licked drunk okay read the purport as stated in asia upanishad this metal creation is supplied with all the potencies for the production of all necessities required by the living entities not only human beings but animals reptiles aquatic and trees the oceans and seas produce pearls coral and valuable jewels